Radio Engineering Graphics and Design Learners, it's Stefan Klein from How To EGD and to prove to you how serious I am about this subject, I've gotten into a plane to show you that in two-point perspective the horizon line is always at eye height. So as we descend, keep a look out this window because you'll see that the horizon will be at my eye height all the time, exactly like you do it in the drawings. Enjoy! Right here, there you can see the horizon. Just keep an eye out on the buildings as we descend. Radio, so I'm back on solid ground and I'm going to talk you through what I just explained while I was in the air with regard to the horizon line always being at eye height. So if we then draw our two-point perspective here, we're going to see that the HL being so high up will have a view looking from the top. And when we get to the next drawing, I'll do the same drawing with the HL at eye height and you'll see how that changes the perspective of the house. So let's get going. Okay, so here is then our house now being looked at from a horizon that's far above the actual ground. Let's say we're in an airplane and our vanishing points is then always on the horizon. So the two truths here is the vanishing points are always on the horizon and the horizon is at eye height which in that since determines the actual view of the house. We're going to lower this HL now to I height and you'll see how this differs in my next drawing. Radio. so in this drawing I've taken the horizon line from up here all the way down to I height, almost where you enter the doorway at I height and again the vanishing points remain on that horizon line. And let's have a look at how that changes the actual look of the house. Radio, so let's take a look at this view, which is two-point perspective of a house at eye height. You can see again here the HL line really at eye height as you enter the door. And as you approach this house, this is very much a realistic view of that house. If we would fly up, the vanishing point would rise with the HL, like in this example. And now, the HL being on the top here, a bird's eye view, you can see you have a different perspective view on that house. The vanishing points remains on the horizon. And that's why when you're in a plane looking outside the window, you will always see the horizon at your eye height because that's also where the vanishing points are situated. And it's that, those two elements, that determines the actual view of what you see on the ground. All right, that's it. A quick overview of two-point perspective what the difference components are and how that influences the actual view of what you see with your eyes. Next time you get in a plane, look out the window and make sure you double check me whether the horizon is at eye height. And if it is so, this video just nailed how it works. Mm -hmm.